Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I am getting my paper towels ready. I'm running a little behind. I didn't sleep very well last night, so I got up a little later than I planned to, but I'm here. Hi, Selena. Good morning, Carolyn. And Mademoiselle Michelle. Love Miss Ivy. Good morning from Portugal. What time is it in Portugal? Hi, so how are you guys? Good morning, Dee, how are you? Hi, Diane. Hi, Robert. Sandy. Um, so, I'm glad I kind of gave some thought to what I wanted to paint today, last night. Um, and before I get started, if you guys are gonna do um, the paint along with me, like doing the little hearts, I have my little heart, heart necklaces um, I'm available on my website. I love them. They're so fun. Here's one of them. Um, and here I did I did a little, look how fun are they? So I, I did a little video. It's on my YouTube channel and on my website. You can find it either place of how to prepare your, um, you have to like gesso a board or, or a paper. I hate when I'm looking at myself when I'm talking to you because I'm looking at <laughs> my hair sticking up. Um, and like get washi tape and kind of grit it off. If you don't have time to do that, it's not a big deal. You can just do it without. And good morning, Ellen. You can also, um, you know, paint on anything. Use whatever you have lying around. Like it's, we're just gonna have fun with it. Trying to get one of my daughters to film me so it's not so logistically challenging. So, all right, let me show you what I'm gonna do today. How are you, Ellen? It's nice to see you. All right, so I'm gonna do peonies. For no other reason than I just, they spoke to me last night when I was going through my photos. I am so in need of painting imagery. If anybody has any really cool photos you want to suggest for me to paint on one of these Wednesdays, feel free to send them over. I feel like, I think it's because it's winter and I'm not making it to market. I'm just, I don't know if I'm in a little bit of a slump or, or if I'm just tired of, like, I feel like I keep painting the same things over and over again because that's what I have as my reference. And I need to get out in the world and find new photos. Which sounds like a really fun thing, but it's hard to find that time. So my family is going on a ski trip this weekend to Vermont. So I have the weekend to be super productive. I'm, gonna pl I'm planning on trying to work on my online course. I have to make sure my music's not too loud. Sorry. I turn my music on in the morning. It sounds so quiet that I can barely hear it, but I have to have it so turned down. Okay. Good morning, Dawn. So how is everyone? Feeling good? I've been I've been good. I'm trying to um, think about a lot of things. Like I'm planning this next. I want to do this online course, so I really need to focus on that this weekend. And part of me is looking forward to it, and another part of me wants to spend the weekend doing absolutely nothing. But I'm hoping I can do a little bit of both of those things. Um. So I'm just using um, magenta right now, just straight out of the tube, just kind of mapping in. There I need a little bit of more of a red. Um, and people have been asking me about when I'm gonna do my next workshop also. I'm gonna try and plan that like in the next week, figure out where and and when that's going to be because in all honesty the year is filling up quickly i feel like if i don't get it on the calendar it's never going to happen because there won't be any weekends left that's a terrible thing to say in february really bad but time just goes so quickly and fills up with so many fun things but
Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so do you want to put in here where everybody's from? Thelma was just saying she's in Portugal. It'd be fun to go meet where everybody is, wouldn't it? All get together sometime. That would be really fun. <clears throat> All right, I need to focus here. So I apologize if I stop talking. I'm a little tired today. More than normal. So my work's been pretty busy lately, too. It's a lot to balance. It's all good. I'm glad when I'm, I'd rather be busy. I'm going to put, sometimes I'm hesitant on this layer more so than I'd like to be. I don't want to be hesitant. I just want to have fun at this part of the painting and not think too much. Just, it's just a roadmap. It's not anything set in stone. Paris, Texas, New York, Hudson Valley, Singapore. Oh my goodness. What time is it in Singapore? See, see Van when do I know you? You live in Lancaster? I don't know what, what's your name? Wonder if we know each other. Virginia, Ottawa, Michigan, Florida, Australia. Wow. That's awesome. And I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. 8.06 p.m. Oh, what a perfect time. So I always feel like I do this at the most inopportune time, but I guess for some people it's a good time. I'd rather do this at 8.06 p.m. I just, now I've been trying to work out um, most days. It's a whole nother thing I'm trying to fit into my schedule, which is a little crazy, but I need to do it. So I'm making a big effort to either get to the gym or to yoga almost every evening. And I'm not sure if that's making me feel better or more overwhelmed. Probably the latter. She says, Carol Ann, we spoke in Messenger, would love to meet. Oh, I would love that, Carol Ann. Yeah, let's do that. We'll meet for coffee or something. That would be fun. I love having uh, art friends. I don't, I don't have a lot of, I have a few friends here that are artists, but a lot. I think it's mostly because I don't I don't get out much. I feel like a lot of times I'm either working or being a mom. I'm gonna have a weekend um, to like just mostly do art stuff. Like how fun will that be? <laughs> India. What time is it in India? Cool. I think one of my clients is in India. Oh, I didn't close the furnace room door. Hold on one minute. Amazing. One of these days, I hope to have a beautiful sunlit studio and not be painting in my basement. But I know that when that happens, I'll probably miss it. I do. I do love it in my, my little humble studio. You don't need anywhere fancy to paint, just a little corner somewhere. I'm a testament to that for sure. So these, um, my little heart necklaces, my goodness, they turned into a labor of love. What a project it was figuring out like what to do with them, the little lockets, then what to hang them on, and trimming them out, and putting them together, and it, I'm not complaining, it was, it was a fun process, but it took a lot more time and, and thought than I think it would, I thought that it would, but everything does, doesn't it? All the good stuff takes a lot of time and thought and energy. Fun things are never easy. 
I'm just putting in where some of the white flower is. I think I'm going to make that a little more blue. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my paper towel. That's a, um, I think that's a, um, Charvin color. I've been playing around, is that what it is? I'm pretty sure it is. I have a lot of Charvin paints out here. I'm trying to figure out for my online course what, um, paint to use. Like, I can't use all the same paints that I use now because... A lot of them are expensive, like Vasari paints is a $100 minimum just to buy some, and I love them, but if I'm going to have students doing painting along with me, I don't want them to have to buy. You know, when I do my in-person workshops, I use all, all the my favorite stuff, but if I'm going to do a workshop, I need to find more affordable solutions, so I've been, that's something else I've been thinking about, but... I had that cute color and I like it, but I'm not sure what tube it was. Oh well. Um, I think maybe I need some yellow. Well, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. So this is in a little little vase that has polka dots on it. I wanted a polka dotted vase. For when I photograph flowers and I couldn't find any I couldn't find anything like that that I loved and so I I drew my own polka dots on on the vase and I love them like they're nice and big and fun but um I couldn't figure out how to put them on there permanently so whenever it gets wet I have to kind of start over and do it again Um, I'm not sure what color I want to make the background, so I think I'm going to do blue. Get some yellow, too, somewhere here. And that's, it's fun to be painting a white flower, too. I love a white flower. I didn't notice this. It's kind of in quadrants that this is like a quarter, not quite a quarter, not quite a quarter. It's okay. I think the dynamic of it's okay as long as it doesn't get stagnant looking to have that that much of a divide. That's up to me to figure that out right. more darks in here. I just felt like it needed it. Okay. So I think that's good. I'm gonna, oh, I wanted a little yellow, didn't I? I think I was looking for a little, a little bit of Indian yellow. I feel like I need to put in here, like I see some here. do my RNF pigment sticks. Does anybody have any questions? Is my neighbor Emerson watching? My little neighbor Emerson, who is three, she might, when we do our hearts, um, might hook her up with stuff and have her do them too. Wouldn't that be fun? She pops in and watches me sometimes before she goes to school. Okay, so I'm just doing my little RNF pigment sticks. Just adding in some, some color. Um, some fun.
So how many of you guys are planning on doing the, um, the heart thing with me? I think it's, yeah, it's next week. Are you guys going to um, paint while I'm painting? Or I'm just curious. Because I'm thinking about it and doing this, and I'm like, maybe nobody wants to do it. I don't know. I'll be doing it, though. Either way. Oh, you guys are talking. I miss it. How are your oils so fluid to use something with it? In my bottom layer, I use Zested. Do I have it here? I think I do. Oops, I use this product. It's a terrible looking bottle. I think it spilled when I before I got it. And that's really all I use in my base layer. But that keeps it kind of fluid, more kind of watercolory. And then I just use these pigment sticks and usually straight paint after that. Julie, you got up. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Just saw your note here. Lonnie Bruce says, good morning. What a beautiful peony on this rainy morning. Oh, I don't know if it's raining here. Is it raining there? I didn't, I didn't even look outside today. Lonnie says, my sleepy eyes just realized that it's a big white one. I missed the start. Oh, that's okay. Um, did I answer all your questions? I'm in, oh good, people are in, okay, thanks. Because it's lunchtime, yeah, I'll try to paint also. And she says, is there an RNF set you would recommend or a few colors that you would start with? I am gonna think about that because I'm working on, you know, like I said, my online course. So I need to think about the bare minimum of what I love the most. So that's one of my goals this weekend. So I'll try and make something that has that in there. So I definitely have my favorites. Of course, if I went to the RNF Pigment Stick store, like I always say I want to do, I'd have too many more favorites, I'm sure. Um, and Julie, I'm glad you got up. Julie wrote to me and said, I don't know, she, was, she didn't know she was going to make it today because she slept terribly. And I said, same with me. I was up thinking all night long. I could not turn my mind off. Lots of great ideas. Probably most of them I don't won't ever remember, but... They were good ideas at the time. Ugh, don't you just hate that? I'm so bad at sleeping. <clears throat> but I was taking um, some homeopathic remedy that my mother, my mother-in-law is really into homeopathic stuff. And she gave me a homeopathic medicine for hot flashes. And um, I honestly think it's helping. But I ran out of it. So I'm wondering if that's a bit of why I've been awake. Because um, I don't have it. So I, I actually ordered it and it's coming tomorrow. It's just a horrible problem. It's crazy. Makes me crazy. And any of you relate. <laughs> it's not something I, I, uh, I like to admit to, but... It's reality. I just hate to say it. Oops. All right. Look how fun. Um, she says, uh, what's the name of the medicine? I'm another uh, Julie who's awake all night too. And Lonnie says it'll pass. When, Lonnie? I've been doing this for 10 years. Um... I have to look. I, it'll come today. I actually don't know. It's a weird name. It's the little tiny pellets that are... Mm, and I have no idea what it's called. Yeah, it's just... I hate it. Anyway, that's fun and messy. Do I need any other lights or darks? Um, I think I'm happy with it. <clears throat> Take a paper towel and pull out where some of my light areas are. I like to do that sometimes. I don't think of it very often. But it's a good reminder to um, think about that. Oh, thanks, Julie. Julie's working on a big painting that looks fabulous. That's something else I haven't been doing is painting large, and that's on my list for this weekend too at this big canvas next to me. 
I always have more goals than I can ever accomplish, but they're all fun. So, okay, I'm going to turn this way. So you can see my messy palette. Let me clean up. Yeah, so I have some of my Charvin paints over here. And I had an RNF pigment stick that I couldn't get out of the tube. So I like wrangled it out and it's like mush. I thought about sending it back to them, but the odds of me spending the time to do that are really slim. So I've, I've been trying to use it. I have a hard enough time getting like my paintings and stuff shipped. But I don't have time to like send something back. Hi, Holly, how are you? All right. So I need pinks, dark, dark greens, and lots of colors of white, which I love doing. All right, I need a sip of my coffee. I'm all out of panels. Like, this is the last one. I did order a few. I think I need to invest in the Ampersand Company. <clears throat> I wish I had a huge stockpile of them. I'm going to put some of this blue here because I had it in my hand. Okay. Focus, Kim. Focus. Okay. So let's start with the dark green. So I always want to start and have my darks at the top, my mediums, and my lights. And somehow I turn out, I end up with a mess. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you inspire, I inspire you. Oh, Holly. Oh, good. Holly's going to the Notre Dame show. It really is a great show. I went on the night that it opened, you know, which was a cool experience, but it was hard to look at everything because it was so busy, so much going on. But it really is, it's it's wall-to-wall -wall beautiful art. Afterward, I found out that one of my very good friends um, that I've known forever, she actually went to school there. How fun is that? When we were um, went and had a bite to eat and a drink because we got to, it's, it's toward Philadelphia, so there's a lot of traffic between here and there. So we left as early as we could, Mike and I did, and got down there. And um, we were talking about my friend Grace, and we we're like, I bet she knows a lot of these people. And here she said that's where she went to school. In the, in the building where it is, um, she said she took language classes. I love that. I love those connections. But I didn't get to see her because I didn't let her know that I was there. You know, you always think when you put things out on social media that everybody in the world sees them. But remember that when you do things like that, like even if you're talking about your work or whatever, so few people actually see it. it used to be that everyone saw it, but it's all changed now. A thousand paintings. Oh my gosh, Holly, isn't that crazy? Yes, it's wall to wall. It's a gorgeous old building. Really fun. I think I might need a little bit more. Are you going out to lunch or something too while you're down there? It's a really nice area. It's right by Villanova University, which is gorgeous. A little even darker. So I'm going to add a little black. Black is like a really, really dark blue. And I want it to go maybe a little, taking some of the green and adding red and black to make it go a little, that might have been too much red. A little less saturated. Whoops, sorry. Um, A little more green. That's less saturated, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, that's nice. Hello, Leah. Holly says, probably not going alone. My date canceled. Oh, fine. I have to go to work. You know I'd go with you, Holly. That would be so much fun. I can't play hooky today. All right, now I'm going to make um, pink. So I have this.
color that I'm going to play with. This is a Charvin color. It's Cyclamen. Um, Sandy says, it would be nice to know your palette line up at the very top. Well, Sandy, it changes a lot. I do. Yes, Holly, another time. Let's plan to do a, a field trip. Because I don't have very many friends that want to go on art field trips with me. Or, or maybe none. Um, I do have, um, I guess the PDF that I have on my website right now is just specific colors. It's not like all of my favorite colors. Um, yeah, I'm going to work on that this weekend. Do another PDF that um, it's a little bit more thorough because I did one with all of my favorite oil paints like a couple of years ago. Now that's changed a lot since then. I mean, not that I don't still love all those same colors, but, um, I'm always playing with new colors. Oh, good, Holly. Let's make a plan. Go to a, a museum and wander around for hours. Something I never do. Do you guys make time for that? Do you make time for um, inspiration like that? I want to, but it's, you know, it's, it's a lot to do all the art and also to find the time to do other things, art related. All the while not, not doing the art part of it. It takes a lot of time to do all the social media, you know, it takes away from the actual painting time, which is always a bummer, but <clears throat> I love learning it. It's kind of a necessary evil, I guess, but uh, this weekend I hope I can do all of these things. <laughs> Next week I'll let you know what all I accomplished. Probably nowhere near what I'm planning, but maybe. Maybe if I'm really focused. Okay, so those are nice pinks. I need maybe one that goes. Julie says we could go to the National Gallery. And, oh, Julie, I would love to do that. Oh my gosh, that would be so wonderful. Now I'm gonna have to stay another day. I'm planning to go. Julie's invited me to come and do a workshop in Ottawa in her studio. How fun is that? I've only ever been to Canada once when my son rode <clears throat> in a regatta that was not too far from um, Niagara Falls. And um, that's the only time I've been in Canada. It was a crazy experience because they, they didn't want to let my husband back in the United States when we were coming home. Did I tell you this story? So we, we went to Canada, it was with family. No problems getting into Canada, went right over the bridge. Everything was good. And so on the way home, we, we went like over the bridge and customs stopped us. And like the guys came out in full SWAT gear, guns with guns surrounded our car and told Mike to put his hands on the steering wheel and to get out of the car. It was a longer story than that, but long story short, we found out like an hour later after sitting in customs for all this time that there was someone to the same description, like uh, his name might have even been Mike Smith. He was a Canadian Hells Angel wanted for like 34 murders and he fit the same build, eye color, hair, everything as my husband. It was absolutely crazy. Eric Carl exhibit at the Frist. Lonnie, is that in, is that there? Is that in in um, Canada too? So yeah, Canada didn't mind having him come in, but but the United States didn't want him back. <clears throat> that was a crazy experience. But that's happened to him before. I think partly because his name's Mike Smith. I mean, it's like the most common name in the world. And that's happened to him when we came back in from Putacana one time. They weren't going to let him back in the United States. 
um, it's just crazy. He had to get like a special rider on his, um, on his passport that said that he's not whoever this person was that, that they were looking for. I wonder if that person <clears throat> is still alive. But we all thought it was kind of funny that like they, they wanted to <coughs> not let him or they, they thought it was him, but, you know, he's dressed as, like, you know, J. Crew plaid shorts and, you know, has his whole family with him. And they let me drive around to the customs office. Like, you know, if he was really a, a hell's angel, I don't think he would be there with his family and they would let his family drive away. Oh, in Nashville. Oh, how fun, Lonnie. I keep hearing about Nashville. I've never been there, but, like, a few of my friends have talked about it, like, in the last two days. Which is funny. Maybe I'm meant to go to Nashville. I keep hearing about it. I was in New Orleans once. I love that. That was very fun. Oh, wait. I'm painting. Here I am. I'm not paying any attention today. Sorry about that. I was starting to put colors up there. <laughs> Thank you for telling. I see you said only your palette. Amy says only your palette is showing. Oh goodness, I didn't mix whites either. I'm talking too much and not focusing. So maybe we'll turn over there and do some whites in a little bit. I'll get some color down first. Oh Kim, tell you what, I have trouble focusing sometimes. Most of the time, all the time. sleep deprived. Julie, I am. So are you. <laughs> it does make it harder <coughs> to focus when you're tired. I mean, honestly, I should be used to being sleep deprived and I am, but it never gets easy or healthy. <clears throat> So my, my family's very excited. They're all going <clears throat> to Okemo in Vermont for till Sunday, from this afternoon until Sunday. <clears throat> and part of me is a little bummed that I'm not going, <clears throat> but I really wanted to stay home and, and do art stuff and <clears throat> feel less behind on things. So I'm selfishly staying home. <clears throat> and sometimes that's okay. I kind of think this might be the first time I've ever <coughs> stayed home by myself for four days. I'm sure I'll have plenty of fun offers of things to do with friends, but I'm going to try and, you know, balance it. The fun and the <clears throat> productivity. Well, there's some cute reds in here. <clears throat> I didn't even notice about the little ruffles. I cannot wait until peonies are back in season. <clears throat> I had to use one brush for the whole painting. Um, sometimes, like this, this, I love this brush. This is a number 12 Rosemary Eclipse brush. It's pretty big. I also like these um, <clears throat> Monarch Flats, um, which are smaller. But I might go in with this a little bit if I need little detail work, but <clears throat> I kind of like the way it looks when you use a big brush. So maybe not. I might do the whole thing with this brush. <clears throat> I, um, I can't believe I forgot to mix white, so it's crazy. You guys didn't remind me. Uh-huh. How do 
how I do it without you. <clears throat> I haven't been painting as much either. I was getting my little heart pendants ready, and now I've got to ship some out today. <clears throat> um, and I'm busy at work. Good. <clears throat> Good morning, Miss Emerson. Oh, Emerson, Miss Mrs. Travato is my neighbor, and Emerson's my favorite three-year-old. Are you watching me, Emerson? I'm painting pink, your favorite color. Hi, honey. Oh, I want to come. Okay, where are you going to go? Oh, nice. What time do you have to be at school? Nine. It's crazy. All right. Okay. <clears throat> no, I don't think he's down here. You want to see Izzy? Izzy's all here. Here, say hello. Turn up here. Here's Izzy. Just say hello. Hi. She's going out to breakfast before school. Hmm? Emerson's watching. Emerson's watching. Say hi to Emerson. Hi, Emerson. Sarah, take a picture of Emerson watching and I'll <clears throat> post it in my story today. How fun. All right. And I'm completely off task today. I apologize. I want one of these mine. One of those? With your name? Oh, okay. I never did finish making those. I used to make, for all baby gifts, a long time ago, I would make um, <clears throat> a watercolor with the and hand letter, the name and the date in the middle, and then do like a heart wreath or a wreath around the outside, depending if it was a boy or a girl. And then around the outside in little type, I would um, write um, the, how much the baby weighed, when it was born, like they were the cutest little things. I made them for years as baby gifts. And I have something like that that I was gonna play around with making and doing it, you know, on the computer because it would take too long to do that by hand. But it's another one of those ideas that I didn't finish thinking about. I have lots of those. I'm in a mastermind group. Um, and we had our last meeting yesterday, and we were talking about <clears throat> things like that, like all the ideas you have in your head that like you wish you had enough time for, and you'll never have enough time for them all. But you know, they were kind of talking about writing things down so you don't feel like you're going to forget them, so that if you want to come back to them later, whoops, that's a little messy, whatever I just did there. <clears throat> which was a good idea. I think sometimes the fear of losing a, an idea is the biggest problem. So if you write things down, then you don't worry about losing it. I don't know, because there'll never be enough time to do all of them. And I always think the ideas that you really need to focus on, you can't get them out of your head. They just keep coming back. So you don't have to even spend time thinking, you know, is this something I need to focus on? If you can't help but think about it, you have to focus on it, and you have to do it. And those other things, they just kind of float away, and if they float back to you five years later, then that's when it's the right time to work on that idea, right? Just my theory. Emerson. Hi, Emerson. dark 
might have to use a smaller brush. Not sure. Love you, Izzy. Have a good day. You too. This is what I'm doing. Good morning, Sharon. Espic Moore is my niece. This is what I do on most mornings. Only I'm not on YouTube. Or on, uh, not YouTube. It's not on YouTube yet. On Instagram. That looks kind of cool. All right. Okay. <clears throat> now, if I should go to a smaller brush or not. Have to think about it a little bit. And part of it, too, is being patient about, you know, when to pull all the colors up, kind of. If that makes sense. Putting in some of the darks in this kind of white leaf. Still feel like that has yellows in there. I should mix up a yellow white. <clears throat> Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the heart, Sharon. How are things going in Burke? Sharon lives in Virginia. She's one of my nieces that lives in Virginia. We usually go there for um, uh, the colon cancer 5K in uh, March, but we have a wedding this year. We've gone every year for the past forever five years we can't go this year weddings about the only reason I would not go we have two fun weddings coming up um, next month well one's the end of March and one's the beginning of April I'm looking forward to that I love life celebrations I mean who doesn't but oh, no. I kind of like this, the colors that are happening in here. A little green for that stem. I want to keep it loose like that. I think it needs to be a little lighter. And then I can go into some of the, <clears throat> I want to use, I want to make a white. Let me come over here. I need a couple of whites. Um, I like this genuine Naples yellow and the purple, um, is, I love this one too, Old Holland Violet Gray. <clears throat> I have that already over here and then I'm just going to make some whites with those two colors for now. Oops. Oh, no, that went too yellow. Just 
Yep, white. Now that kept feeling like I needed. More of a purple. White. Oh, and I wanted to do with this too. I love this color. Um, Italian green umber. Do a little bit of that as a white. <clears throat> Beautiful whites. And what time is it? 7.46. Holy cow, I got to keep going. Okay. What are you doing May 1st weekend? Lancaster Art Association is holding an artathon. You would be a wonderful participant. May 1st. I don't know. I'll have to look. An artathon? That sounds like fun. Yeah, I never do much with the Art Association because it's, it's in Strasbourg. Like, I entered a show a couple of times, but it was so hard for me to like take things and drop them off like I I actually have to like ration out how many things I can do that I have to leave my job to to take care of but maybe that might be fun oh well I use this brush. the brush is lackluster let me get another one the brush I need some new brushes too I think I need to splurge buy some new stuff. Yeah, I didn't realize that time's flying. I felt like I was on schedule here for a little bit, and now I feel like I'm not going to have enough time to finish it. But I'm going to do my best. Pull it together. That's always a sign. Like, you know, I've been fussing with it enough. It's time to finish it up. Move on. Are you guys all in my art friends group on Facebook? I've been um, promoting. I did a class last year with Emily Jeffords. It's like an online marketing course. And it's really a fabulous course if you want to um, up your game with your marketing of your art. Um, if you're at that stage. Um, I will add a post today in my story. Actually, I'm going to have to, when I send out the newsletter for this too, I'll add something in there about it. And if you want more information, just um, message me and I'll let you know the details. But um, I think I'm actually going to do the course again this year. But I got so much out of it that I'm going to do it again. Those colors look a little di dis disparate. Disparate? Is that the right word? Maybe I need to do my pinks and then go back into those. I think it maybe it's too dark and too heavy. I don't know. Something's wrong with it. <clears throat> um, so let's let's go in it and do some pinks so that I I'm going back in here for my my confidence. Doing some colors that I think are not gonna work. Trying to put down in those intentional brush strokes that I don't fuss with. So difficult. Oh, I ran out of paper towels. The size from the panel is six by six. Are you asking me what size is my, my panel? Six by eight. The one that I'm on right now. It's like my favorite size. It's just because it's convenient, not for any other reason, but. I know I can finish it before I need to go to work in the morning. It's not a good reason, but it's my reason. <laughs> it 
it's become, yeah, that's, it always needs that, that part. And that's so hard to wait and not do it till the very end. But then that pulls the whole thing together. I think I always say art teaches me patience. It's a lesson I'll never be finished learning because I have so very little. Do you like the white shell? I got to work on them a little more. Good. I'm glad you love them. I don't love them yet, but I'm going to try to in a minute. little bit of white showing there that yeah that that iridescent it's hard it's hard to hold on to that but it does it makes such a big difference to let that um some of that glow come through from underneath little bit of something right here. <clears throat> okay. Let me go work on these whites a little bit because I don't... What time is it? 52. I think we're good. All right, let me get some coffee and we'll go in and work on some more whites. I don't know, is it loose enough? Is it happy enough? Is it enough? Is it two? Two. Is it two? <laughs> I say that to myself a lot. Is it two what? I don't know. Just two. Is it enough? Is it happy? Mm. The hard thing too is that when you put down like the bits of color in a, in a space like this, I can't, I have to be careful not to put my dirty brush back in my whites or they get muddy looking very, very quickly. It's an important thing to keep in mind or to, like I just did overwork a brush stroke like that's not good either. <clears throat> what do you think? finished love the polka dots it would be fun to turn them into heart dots that would be fun can't have enough hearts this week right no i love my little hearts 
It's a reflection in there. Um, <clears throat> oh, thanks, Julie. All right, am I finished? Uh, 55. I can look for a couple little kisses of something here. Uh, there's glow there, but this could go back. No, oh, that turned into a line. I don't want that. The colors are so vibrant and happy. They are vibrant and happy. Love happy color. Like I love the thickness of that stroke, but just doing that is going to make this have to dry for a really long time. But that's all right. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm going to start overworking it. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to sign it. And turn this around. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I'll show you it up close one more time. Um, and then I'll post this on my um, YouTube channel and on my website. I'll try and get it done this morning, but I have to get a lot of hearts out too. A um, couple need to get there earlier than the 14th, so I've got to work on that. So I'll show you this stuff. Now let me turn it around. So there's my palette. I have my whites down here, and there are my pinks, my greens. And these are like the colors I use to mix to lighten like my darker colors. And then there is the finished painting. So thanks for coming, guys. I hope you all have an amazing day. And um, if you have any questions about getting ready for next to paint um, hearts next week, let me know. And that, like I said, that's up on my website, on my blog. Um, so you can find that information there. So thanks, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming. Have a great day. Bye, guys.